continuation of the topic indices. We want to see applications of these indices we talk about. Now, in these questions we have here, this one says 2 raised to the power s times 4 raised to the power this times this. What do you see? What you do? Ensure that everything is in its basic index form. You say 2 raised to the power of x times 4. Basic form of 4 is 2 raised to the power of 2, bracket 2s plus 3, then times basic index form of a is 2 raised to the power of 3, bracket s minus 3, equals to 2 raised to the power of 4. Now we sort it out. We now say, since there is times here, multiplication, uh, multiplication law will be considered. We now say, this means, take the common base, which is 2. Now, add their powers. x plus 2 times 2x, 4x, 2 times 3, 6. 3 times x, 3x, 3, 3 times minus 3, minus 9. You equate it to the other side, 2 raised to the power of 4. Now, you say, the base equal to the base, the power equal to the power. This we cancel this. X plus 4x plus 6 plus 3x minus 9 equals to 4. Then, x plus 6, 5x plus 6, 8x. 6 minus 9 minus 3. Minus 3 go the other side, we'll be giving you 4 plus 3. We repeat, x plus 4x, 5x. 5x plus 3x, 8x. 6 minus 9 minus 3. Taking the other side to turn to plus 3. x equal to 7 over 8. Then, we are asked to simplify this. We are asked to simplify this. So, what we do, what we do is, we now say, okay, 2, Raise the power of these two raise the power of two x minus six bracket two raise two x plus eight equal to zero. This is the application of indices in quadratic equation. Okay. Now see how we do it. This simply means two raise the power of x. R is power of 2 from product power law. This simply means minus uh, 2 raised to the power of x minus 2 raised to the power of x minus 6 raised to the power minus 6 bracket 2 raised to the power of x plus 8 equal to 0. Say so, let 2 raised to the power of x be, let's say, let it be p. Change 2 raised to the power of s with an alphabet. That will be giving you, whenever I see 2 raised to the power of s, you put your p. p squared minus 6 p plus 8 equal to 0. Plus multiply, um, factorizing. We have p, p, minus, minus, because you have minus plus. So the factors will be minus, minus. So what you do now is minus 2 minus 4. Minus 2 minus 4 minus 6. Minus 2 times minus 4 plus 8 equals to 0. It implies that P minus 2 bracket 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 P minus 4 equals to 0. P equal to 2 or 4. This answer you got is not your final answer. Why? Because you said before now, 2 raised to power S, let it be P. So you say, since 2 raised to power S is equal to P, it implies that 2 raised to power S equal to the first value of P, 2 raised to power 1. Also, 2 raised to the power s equal to the second value of p equals to 4. That is 2 raised to the power of 2. Because 2 raised to the power of 2 will give you 4. Then, since b is equal to the base, x will be equal to 1. Since b is equal to the base, x will be equal to 2. These are the values of x for this function or for this question we have. Then we go to the next question, which tells us that indices can be used or can be applied in simultaneous equation. How do we do that? We now say, okay, we solve this. Remember, simultaneous equation, we have two unknowns to look for. 
Now, we put this to if basic in that form. We have 3 raised to the power of uh, 3x times 3 raised to the power of 2y equal to 3 raised to the power of 4. We have also 3 raised to the power of 2x divided by 3 raised to the power of y equals to 3 raised to the power of 3. Okay? Apply quantification law. You will be having 3 raised to the power of 3x plus 2y equal to 3 raised to the power of 4. Then apply division law here. 3 raised to the power of 2x minus y equal to 3 raised to the power of 3. That tells us that since the base here is equal to the base here, the powers must be equal. Since the base here is equal to the base here, the powers must be equal. So you have 3x plus 2y equal to 4. Equation 1. 2s minus y equal to 3. Equation 2. You solve it simultaneously. So, you can say from in equation 2, we have that 2s minus y equal to 3. So, we are solving simultaneously using substitution method. So, we now say that implies that y minus y go the other side gives you y. 3 come the other side, 2s minus 3. Why would we be giving out 2s minus 3? So you call it equation 3. So to this, in equation 1, we have 3x plus 2 bracket 2s minus 3 equals to 4. That will be giving us 3x plus 4x minus 6. 2 times is 4x, 2 times is minus 6 equal to 4. This plus is 7x equal to, this goes the other side, 4 plus is 10. Therefore, x equals to 10 over 7. Then, put x equal to 10 over 7 inside equation 3 to get y. Since equation 3 says y equal to 2x minus 3. Put x equal to 10 over 7 inside here to get your y. Therefore, y will be equal to 2 bracket 10 over 7 minus 3. That will be giving us y equal to 20 over 7 minus 3 over 1. That will be giving us 7, 1, 1 times is 20 minus 3, 3 times is 21. 1 divided 7, 7, 7 times 3, 21. That will be giving you minus 1 over 7. So these are the values of x and y. Therefore, x equal to 10 over 7, y equal to minus 1 over 7. If you want to know whether you are correct, take minus 1 over 7, put it here. Take 10 over 7, put it here to test you will be having 30 over 7 when you put here plus minus minus 2 over 7 that will be giving you 7 28 equal to 4 that means your answers are correct so our s is 10 over 7 and your y is minus 1 over 7 thanks for watching the video please Ensure you subscribe my YouTube channel because you enjoy a lot, a lot of videos will come up and will post it for you to enjoy. Like my video, subscribe and see you next time. Stay safe.